Hey guys, it's Core Ross and Welcome to Six News. Today we're looking at the Crimson Heist Battle Pass. Now this is up in the test server. Normally it is not. Presumably they are potentially testing it in order to check and see if it works because they are changing it this time around where it's actually going to unlock the operator as the first tier. But it means we can have a look at all the cool items before the season is actually launched. So first off, we actually get this uniform unlocked for Flores. He's looking rather cute in that green. That's awesome. And I presume this would have been what you would have got if you had the year pass. Of course, that's no longer happening. It's going to be the first unlock on the battle pass to actually get Flores now. So it looks like you actually get the uniform. We've got a skin here, banknotes. That's pretty cool. This gun is being buffed in the new season with better recoil. We've got a deep pocket charm, which is not too bad for obviously a charm, but uh, this game has too many charms at this point. Then we have our first 3D weapon skin. This is the skins that transform the weapons. And this looks really nice. This makes the ARX 200 look, oh my God, amazing. Yeah, that is, I like how it chunks it up. Really, very gorgeous. So that's awesome. We've got, of course, our usual stuff like alpha packs, rainbow six credits. We've got a weapon attachment skin. This is for the ARX 200 as well. To go along with that skin we just looked at. The individual weapon skins that just go into just one weapon, I'm not a big fan of, but you know, I guess they're just trying to fill out the battle pass with that. We've got a Yana headgear, which I gotta say I kind of like. It's not one I would probably choose to wear, but I kind of like how it looks. Then we've got this Legion, bit ugly. I do like the texture camo type stuff going on there. Then we've got a booster. We've got a charm, so of course there'll be plenty of charms in this. I guess it's, again, kind of sparkly. We've got a jemmy kind of alligator kind of look. We've got some R6 credits. Wow, look at this. So we've got some fancy, uh, well, I don't know what we're looking at. Some digital eyes. It also has his goggles, which actually do look like they would fit over the things. So whatever his uh, digital eyes are, they are not waterproof, I guess. And we've got that kind of camo up top again. It's quite nice. It doesn't actually, for the headgear, I really, really like it. And let's see what else we've got. We've got some more alpha packs. We've got this charm. Now, presumably this is a placeholder because this is an old uh, Ubisoft Club challenge charm. So I would be very surprised to see this in here if this is legit going to be in the battle pass. But maybe it is. I'm just thinking right now, probably a placeholder, but we'll see. Certainly an odd one. But then we've got some golden dice, which you can get with some R6 logos on it for charm. Not bad for charm. It's not the worst. Then we've got a skin here for the P10. That does look very nice. I've got to say the colors actually work quite good together. We've got the R6 logo on the side there as well. We got booster. Then we got headgear for Blackbeard. That is, that's not bad. Then we have a gun skin for Wamai and IQ. Quite nice. I like the leather, the green. Looks very casino-y, very gangster. Very, very nice. We've got uniform, kind of plain clothes policeman almost in a way. Uh, yeah, I like, that's a good outfit. Of course, nerf beard there getting nerfed into the ground again. So are you actually gonna use it? Probably not. But uh, we got multi-spectrum glasses. Wow, they look like that is, that's a good look. That's a pretty damn good look. Okay, I like that. We got, of course, some more alpha packs. We've got a Rooney uniform. Damn. Maybe a bit bright. I wouldn't have gone for the uh, lime green on the prosthetics, but I gotta say, certainly not ugly. Good textures. Then here we have a plan skin. Ooh, I like it. Of course, this is how you sneak your plans of the building into the building. Just put them on your gun. Yeah, that's quite nice. That will definitely stand out. So that's cool. Then we got a uniform for Womai. That is awesome. Oh yeah, that is really freaking good. I love that. Yep, definitely going to be wearing that. For sure. Then we got a charm here for Ernie. Again, kind of same aesthetics. We need like a big uh, six logo on the back here. I think that'd be pretty decent. Then we've got a Rooney with the same mask. We're seeing a theme here. Oh my God. I don't really want to face off against her running around with that on. 
We're actually getting punched by her. Oh, wow. Okay, Alibi, that is quite an outfit. Throwback hoops. That is very cool. Yeah, getting flashbacks of like, what, the 80s or something? God damn. That is awesome. Another alpha pack. Then we've got Kaid here. Again, that same kind of camo. That's actually quite nice with a lot of black in it. Then we have our eel trinket. Wow. I don't think I'll be using that, but yeah, someone's going to love it. Got a bobcat. That's kind of cool. Yeah, I like that. Then we've got a uniform for Alibi. That's, that's not bad. Nice trim. I like the kind of pinstriping. Hmm, yeah. Might actually use that. <laughs> oh, man. I'm assuming everyone's going to have this goddamn headgear in, the, in this battle pass. Oh, boy. Nope. I'm going off it now the more I see it. Uh, what we got here? Gold and silver kind of precious ingots. That is nice. Yeah, I quite like that. Classy. Got some more alpha packs. We got a Kaid charm. <laughs> I love it. Ace is still not taking his mask off or actually wearing it correctly either. Oh boy. But, yeah, it, it doesn't actually look too bad for a headgear for him anyway. Roulette wheel color scheme on this. That's kind of cool. Kind of cool. We got another charm. No need for luck. Anything on the back of it? Nah, just blank. And we got another skin. This one's for Kaid. We've got another one of these headgears with the goddamn eyes. This thing for Bandit. I think they might have overdone this headgear. Then a uniform for Ace. That is quite nice. Yeah. I'm not uh, averse to that one. Let's see, we've got a Goyu one here. Okay, it looks like we're just a plain head here, revealing his entire face. Yeah, pretty good. He looks very stylish. I've uh, got no problem with that. We've got another skin here for the shotty. We've got a bandit one here. Mm, not too fussed about it. This one's quite nice. Eye catcher. Yeah, it's not too bad. It's a little bit simple, but, you know, not bad. Oh, oh that, that one looks good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, this is going to look great. You can see the default headgear for him is very similar. Just the uh, one in his battle pass is basically a different hairstyle. But that outfit is nice. Yeah, it's pretty classy. Loving it. Then we got an MP7 skin. Super simple, but... Nice, a little bit of digital camo on the back and just a, a simple blue all on the front. Then what we got here. So Nomad, I presume she's going to get one of those headgears with goggles as well. Oh my God, I like that. Upscale cigar holder. Holy crap. That's actually really cool. If that glows, it's animated too, is it? Yes, it's animated for the smoke. That's actually... Potentially a really cool uh, charm, which I would actually like to get. Then we got an attachment weapon skin for the MP7 as well to go along with the other skin. Again, just for that weapon. We've got Thermite. Oh, he had to get the red glasses, didn't he? He saw, he saw Flores and he said, those red glasses look good. Got to get myself some. But yeah, he looks good in them. What we got here... That's not bad, actually. That's not quite in your face as the other ones. A little bit of carbon fiber in there. And then here we go <laughs> with the goggles. Definitely going for that, uh, I guess, that stealth rubber kind of thing. Oh, my God. What is this one? Four of a kind. That is that's classy. Yeah? I like that. Yeah, we've got more alpha packs. We've got a uniform for pulse. Oh, my God. He went a little bit overboard with the uh, poker and stuff, didn't he? Oh my god, Cav's getting the mask as well. So here's our uniform. I don't know. Bit busy? It's like, not bad. But it's a bit busy. I mean, she's got a matching skin. Nice charm. That's actually not too bad. Uh, what we got? 
Oh god, there's the carved one coming up. We've got a weapon skin for zero. That is that's ugly as hell. That is ugly as hell. The other textures have looked really good. This one looks a little bit bad. Yeah. I don't know what happened to that one. Then we've got a cav charm. We've got a zero headgear. Nice hairstyle. So they're just, a lot of these are either goggles or just doing their hair differently. And that looks good though. I've got the one with the goggles on so and that's what I'm going to go for, you know, proper. I'm, top, I'm talking splinter cell goggles, not these. Oh my God. Well, it's certainly uh, impactful. I don't know. I don't think she looks as scary as normal though. It's not a bad skin though. Like it's not terrible. It's definitely unique. Hmm. That's actually not, I'm not a big fan of the colors, but it's not bad. Let me know what you guys think about this one in the comments. Then we've got a charm and this is in the splinter style style for obviously referencing for uh, Sam Fisher there. That's actually not bad. Kind of like the, obviously keeping the reference in there. What have we got here? That's actually pretty damn good. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the fact that she's got a little kind of gas mask attached to it is way more scary than normal. Like, holy moly. Yeah, that's a little bit scary. Oh uh, my God. What's this? Kind of an Aztec looking thing. Wow. What the heck is this? Uh, it's like some uh, mother down the street has just turned up to your, your heist. Pretty cool though. We got a charm for Finca. We got a Finca uniform. Another thingy majiggy pack. Ooh. Uh, what is this? Is this just gold foil? Just badly applied to the whole weapon? That is something else anyway. I'll give him that. What we got here? We got a pulse and a castle skin. Uh, it's not bad. Yeah, it's all right. Can it art deck away? Ugh, that is a little bit over the top. And then what we got? Maxwell. In loving memory of Maxwell, my best bud. Is that Flores' his dog? Maybe. And then we have Castle. Okay, castle man, that, that's, oh man, yeah, that's a nice outfit. Yeah, I like that. That's very cool. Oh, he must, yeah, he's got a headgear coming up. Then we got the Brazilian charm again. So yeah, presumably that's, these two are placeholders and we'll get something else for the full thing when the season comes out. Ooh, that's not too shabby. Don't think I'd use it, but you know, not bad. Oh, castle. Looking good. Very classy. And what's this charm here? Oh, lockpick. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And that is, that is very nice. Is that a 3D skin? Cause it looks a little bit different shape wise, but I don't entirely know. Not bad either way. So we've got a weapon attachment skin here. This is a universal. So this will work on every single gun. And of course, it's kind of all the uh, cards and that. Yeah, pretty cool. We've got some money. A little clasp of money for a charm. Oh my God, Flores. Okay, that is pretty cool. I like that. Yep, looking pretty classy there. And then this is our, what? Is this our, se yeah, this is our seasonal weapon skin. Showing on a weapon where it doesn't really show it too well, I think. We can see that it's got like a combination lock down by the uh, the trigger. So I presume that's how it'll look on all the guns. I wonder if we can get this reset and show us in a different weapon. Then we got a uniform for Flores as well. Let's have a look at that. Yeah, it's pretty cool. That might be quite good for blending into some maps actually. That's pretty sweet. Let's have a little look at our stuff in this battle pass then. So we've got the intro. We've got some information of course information about the new guy as well because he'll be unlocked via that let's have a little look at challenges what is going to be in here all right nothing showing up in there yet 
And we've got story. We've got a video. Should we actually watch this? See if it works? I don't actually know if it does. So it says, I'm used to working alone, but Ash needs a secret ingredient and I can see the benefit to a partnership. It takes skill to do what I do. Preparation, it's not just about the spices. If your cuts aren't precise, you can end up with a mess on the plate. Is he a good cook as well? So uh, people are being made to starve. It's my job to keep them fed. I'm a man of my word and I will never leave a favor owned. Favors left past do have a way of taking you by surprise. Never leave red in the ledgers of life, love, or business. Okay, he's a, he's a, an interesting guy. So yeah, that's our battle pass. Now, presumably it's not going to last 18 days that it says here. Uh, it's probably going to last like pretty much the entire season like the last one did. So it's just eight, 18 because it's on the test server and it's probably a lot shorter. Man, 100 tiers. Like I think I got to 70 odd. I've been playing on the PC and the Xbox, so splitting my time between two. Anyway, guys, that is the Crimson Heist Battle Pass. Of course, there's a couple of placeholder items in there. The video's not accessible yet. That'll probably come with the launch of the new season, and that'll be probably after three weeks of test servers. And let me know what you think of the new operator being tied into the Battle Pass now, because for some people, that'll be cheaper than obviously getting the pass alongside it, but it'll also be kind of more expensive for some people as well because you have to buy a battle pass each time. And if you want to get it for free, you have to wait two weeks to then buy the operator with Renowned afterwards. So let me know what you think about that. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.